All right guys, today we're gonna try to knock out some of the rivets on the hovercraft. Uh, we're gonna try and start drilling them out and getting them ready to put the new ones in. As you can see, a bunch of these are busted. So we're gonna drill these out and start replacing them. And hopefully, That'll make it so we can start getting everything we need ready for the skirts to go on. We put the clips on the clips on first, and then eventually um, get the skirt on the uh, on the hovercraft, and then we'll be ready to go. Um, after that, we'll be ready to rumble. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, so the previous owner, um, some of the rivets that came out, they replaced them with these bolts. Um, so they're not too hard to get out, obviously. But we're gonna have to look at, the hole is a little too big now. So. That works. Center punch. Throw this guy up. Get a mouse trap. Yeah. It's not too heavy though, so it won't kill you. It says call it. Bamboo bingo, and I just got lucky. <laughs> I looked for the other ones, but I couldn't find any, so I was like, well, we'll just send it with this one, and it's perfect. Your air is not ready yet. You just gotta pull the trigger a few times. You just pull it until they break. You just do it once and they break, if it's good. I think it's a trash gun. Yeah. It's a cool idea. Terrible execution. Right, saves little things. We don't want to do the fiberglass. Yeah. yeah, see, it's because of how long the rivet is. So. <laughs> How many cubic feet of air in 120 psi of three gallons? You can do it. What? Are you doing the thing where you're like, yeah? <laughs>
a different rivet. Yo, those are sick. <laughs> Danger spikes. <laughs> we should leave those. Just keep the birds off. I wonder if that rivet was just like too slim or something. I think the stick like got pushed. Right, guys drew and i just got done uh laying up the fiberglass uh here it is it doesn't look great <laughs> but uh we are definitely not fiberglass professionals and it doesn't have to be watertight and we're just trying to kind of help it out a little bit um you know we'll eventually might redo it or something but for now this will get us going just so we can kind of test everything else um I think it's it's a it's a decent start. I think it's pretty good. Uh, the only thing we're really worried about is going to be these these rails, but I don't think they're really supposed to have fiberglass on them, anyways. Um, so, anyways, that's where we're at. Um, we're going to start throwing the skirt on, and after we start putting the skirt on, we will be ready to test the thing out. Fiberglass is cured for the for the most part. We got a couple air bubbles, um, but you know we're not professionals we're just gonna have to uh make it work and uh the plan is going is to come back and put some c channel over the rails um once we once we get everything going but we uh we want to get the thing flying and test it out matt's here and uh we're gonna start putting the skirts on and uh yeah we'll see how it goes guys so we have to start over not that we made it very far <laughs> we have two different ideas and we have a lot of math going on here this is what will will did a lot of research come look at this came up with each one shares two clips so they're called fingers each finger goes between two clips but we counted all the fingers and we counted all the clips and that the math just doesn't add up so then my idea on the back here is one zip tie for one clip and that makes more sense for all the clips and all the fingers but we don't know if it's gonna work let us know in the comments what we're doing wrong if anyone knows because there's not a lot of information on hovercrafts on the internet surprisingly yeah so we're either going to uh, have something that flies or Something have something that makes a, a bunch of noise and goes anywhere but I, I i vote this makes more sense to me i think it it, it looks stronger it, it looks better in and it it seems like it would trap more air but with the number of clips and how there is a p clip right in the center means that you couldn't have a bag in the center. You'd have to have a bag on either side. All which, the pictures we see, there's a bag dead center on the front and the rear. Yeah, so that, it, it messes everything up. It messes all the numbers up if we do it this way. But all the numbers make sense if we do it that way. So we're about to run through a big bag of zip ties. And fingers crossed that, the, uh, that it all works out, so... Stay tuned, and uh, if you know what we're doing wrong, put it in the comments, and uh, maybe we can fix it. <laughs> and also, uh, also Venmo us zip ties, or just hit subscribe because <laughs> probably should have named. We start looking at a uh, zip tie sponsor, <laughs> but because we go uh, we go through quite a bit of zip ties. But anyways, we're gonna get back at it, and we will keep you updated once we get a little more done. All right, guys. Um, well, we did a little bit, but we decided that we need to stop and figure out stop and figure out um, how it's supposed to be done because 
either way we don't think it's too right yeah it just doesn't look right and um also the manual saying two zip ties per uh per finger we know that and right now we're only doing one so we've definitely got something wrong so we're gonna have to stop uh kind of look back up all of the uh information we have maybe give uh give a couple people a call and uh try again tomorrow so that's we'll the plan tomorrow then yeah see you guys tomorrow Thank you.